Good morning, I'm Brooke Hapes. President Trump will visit Dayton, Ohio and El Paso, Texas today following the two mass shootings that left 31 people dead. President Trump will travel to Dayton this morning. The president will then travel to El Paso this afternoon. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers will meet with Republican leaders to discuss gun control. They plan to meet next week. Packers great Jordy Nelson officially retired yesterday. That's after an 11 year NFL career. Nelson says it was important for him to go out as a Packer. As for what's next, Nelson and his wife are having a home built in Kansas. The Packers will play their first preseason game tomorrow night against the Houston Texans. You can catch all the action right here on NBC 26, your official Packers station. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish and actually what we're going to be watching is this afternoon mainly with a couple scattered showers and storms starting to pop with the heating of the day and a cold front rolling its way on through. These continue heading through the evening hours as well. Now, if you get under one of these, there is a chance that you could see some gusty wind, possibly some hail or some downpours, of course, but they'll start to taper off, especially later on tonight. So before they even develop, though, 85 warm, muggy degrees today, these scattered thunderstorms developing mainly in the afternoon. Uh, they continue for parts of the area heading through the evening. They gradually end later on tonight. Then going down to 60, remember I said cold front, that means much nicer tomorrow, 77 degrees. We'll keep that nice, comfortable air going right on through the weekend as well. This weekend, just a chance of a little bit of rain, maybe Saturday night going into Sunday morning. Not a guarantee of when exactly that will happen, but either way you cut it, uh, you can download that news app. It's free. Just search for WGBA in your app store.